I am so into the story of Spider right now. Of all the East guys I've watched recently. And I don't want to shit on some other shows that we've watched, but the story of Spider resonates with me a lot more than some of the more uh, isekai shows that we've watched recently. Naughty food at the Anyway, I'm slime. <laughs> Anyways, I, I love Spider. Some of the last episode was fucking insane, though. Last episode had a lot of mask off moments. Oka sensei, Oka chan, the teacher. She is always out doing some weird shit, tracking down the students. And whenever we ask, what are you doing? She's like, <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's like, no, I am worrying about it. Because you had a moment where you were like, ruler privileges activate, granting permission. Fucking took away Hugo's powers and stats and levels and everything. It's like, how does that work? And we saw at the end of Kumoko's side, right? She was like, hmm, I guess, you know, appraisal won't, you know, go up beyond level 10. It'd be cool if it could evolve into something else. Oh, well. And then the developer, the app is like, hmm, admin D request, act, um, uh, what would say it? Approved. I'll work on this right now. Skill approved. It's like, what? What? So just like solo leveling, how, you know, Sung Jin Moo is like a player. Kumoko, Okaba, or Wakaba, we are also a player of a game. But then... Wakaba mentioned something so interesting that I never really thought about when watching solo leveling is that when you're playing a video game, right? The spider, think about this. The spider is a character that you play through and you interface it through by playing it on the computer or console, right? But who is the actual person playing the character, if you know what I mean, right? I think Wakaba was having a lot of crazy revelations at the end thinking like, what the fuck is going on? Am I just a game? Am I, is this a simulation? Is someone controlling my actions, right? So much different shit is happening and the plot gets even more deeper. And I'm sure today's episode, we're gonna go down further into the rabbit hole. Let's begin today's reaction though. Looking at Hugo? Damn, church girl sits on our table now? Fuck, she's scary, man. What a crazy line to say. He hasn't come to school since trying to assassinate you. Yeah, good. But like, bro is gonna ally with the demons, right? Some different girl showed up at the end who was probably probably implied as the demon, right? Okachan just took everything away, man. Who is she? How does Okachan have all that shit? Oh, political warfare. I never thought about that. I never under I never really thought about like the the implication of one prince trying to kill another prince because you know at the end of the day they're just isekai characters, but like the like the politics involved though, huh? Uh, you don't need to know. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it, church girl. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What was that animation? Sus. Wait. This is... Okay, we're actually getting human flashback. That's Oka-chan? This is what Oka-chan looked like before turning... I mean, she still has like the twin tails, but okay, okay. Who is Hugo again? Fuck, I, I, I don't know, because they all look different. I don't know the Japanese names. What's Hugo's name again? I have no idea who these dudes are. Oka-chan. <sighs> you guys are babies. <laughs> yeah, the Shun looks the most familiar, and he's literally called Shunsuke. Kigo is Natsume? Okay. Oh, wait! Which one is the girl right here? Okay, okay. Kanata. Oshima. So, literally, like, his, his right, right? Okay, what, what, what does he look like? Why am I so interested in this? <laughs> right here. It's right here. Left side. Left side. It's kind of, I mean, I mean, even the way he's posing, I mean, he's a little, a little fanboy like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, there's a, it's a, nice, it's a nice fit, I'm not, I'm not complaining, any, anyways, I'm not, I'm not saying, wood, <laughs> wood, <laughs> Jesus, Hugo did that probably, right, where's Hugo, asshole, Natsume, he even looks pretty similar, huh? I mean, the face structure kind of looks the same, but okay. He's still a dick, but obviously not as crazy. <laughs> Yuika Hasebe. So you mean he's a bad person? What, we gotta conform around his fucking problems? That's some bullshit, man. Alright, a little bit of a soccer match. Shoko... No, this is not Wakaba. Wakaba looks totally different. I'm, I, I don't know any of these characters because I don't know the Japanese names, you know? Hasabe is church girl? Okay, cool, cool. Wakaba right there. Here's Wakaba. Here's her, here's her spider queen. Bro. What the fuck was that kick? Look at this kick right here. Look at the course of the kick. And then, boom. Look at the direction of the kick. <laughs> you, don't, you don't even need to fucking... 
fucking block that thing. What do you mean? What do you- <laughs> This shit's going all the way fucking out. Ain't no way this is ever gonna make the fuck- Look at this shit! You didn't even need the fucking shit! <laughs> yeah, no, no. Oh, shit. Hugo couldn't. Wait! Hell yeah, Yamada. But like... Before- it, the, the Hugo that I would know be like... Motherfucker. He's getting one up me again. I need to score better. But before he kind of was like a bro. He's actually like complimenting and congratulating us. Oh shit, it's that guy again. This who is this dude? Do we know him? He's creepy as fuck though. Negishi. Who is Negishi? Do you do you guys know who Negishi is? Has this character been introduced actually? She's a girl. Oh, it's, it's a girl. Oh my my bad my my my, 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 my bad. Do you blame me? Do you blame me? Not yet. So interesting. A character that's not accounted for in the twenty seven. Hmm. Is she part of the monster side? Hmm. Even better. Could she be the demon girl that approached Hugo at the end of the last episode? Is it possible someone got reincarnated as that? I don't know. Okay. All right. That's it. Bye. You're so awkward. <laughs> you walk so slow too. <laughs> Actually kind of scary. Wakaba. Oh no, bullying moment. Bullying moment. Leave her alone, man. That's Faye, right? That's Faye. The middle girl is Faye. Yeah. Oh, that look. That look isn't one of weakness, man. She stared back. You think Shinsuke intentionally did this here to disrupt the situation? Probably, right? I think he intentionally did this to save Wakaba. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fucked up. They have a nickname for that girl? And her name is Spooky? <laughs> Yo, this is how evil villains are born. What the fuck? I mean, it's not that mean of a nickname, but you call it, everybody calls her Spooky. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that was she appeared out of nowhere, man. Her presence was like non-existent. Oh. Hey, that's a good guy. He said, "Don't bully her." Yeah, you got many girlfriends? Yeah, you got all them bitches? Okay. I mean, he's kind of right. He is right. Alright, you don't have to... You don't have to convince me, bro. If you like guys, go for it. Negishi. So, if we're gonna go with the assumptions that people's inherent desires are what determines their reincarnation... Negishi being part of the demon faction would it make sense? Maybe I don't know. Hiro Wakaba, and we're back. That was a very interesting flashback. Okay, we're doing the math again. Remember, out of 27, there's like 11 in the fourth, there's six at the school, and the remaining, what, like, of like the seven or the nine, a couple of them are already dead. So technically, there's only like four missing, apparently. But that, but who knows how accurate this math is? Okay, sorry, the four that died. Why does Okachan know that, though? Why? Shut the fuck up, Okachan. You are intensely deflecting, using your cute little lines here and there. Oh, just don't worry about it. It's a secret. Wink. You know so much. Why? This girl, man. Yeah, tell us the secrets. Kyoya, that other friend. Is he dead or what? The way that she looked before answering that was a little sus. That's a little sus. Where is he? You won't tell us? Why? Stop saying sorry, give me answers! Faye's interesting in Wakaba. She's what? She's what? She's fucking killing it, that's right, the Elbow Labyrinth. What 
is she doing? <laughs> And she's having a fucking existential crisis about the realization that she might be a, she might be in a game. She's going crazy. Somehow she's come with the terms that she may be stuck in a simulation and she has no choices, but it's okay. She always moves forward. <laughs> That's right, we're completely schizo. We talk to ourselves. Don't worry, we probably have fire resistance, right? Never mind. What? Use that to put the fire out? But I guess we have poison resistance, huh? Even if the HP reaches zero, because we have that new skill, where if we use all our stamina, sorry, if we have stamina points left, we can have survive a lethal hit. Remember that skill? That's probably OP. Was it MP? Or not stamina? My bad. Oh, she did. Was she dead? Oh, we're gonna actually showcase that skill. So if we have extra MP left, then her HP is gonna be fine. Perseverance, that's the one, that's right. Damn, that's a lot of MP gone. Boom, survived. Yeah, at least we know how to... So I wonder if there's a cooldown for that, huh? Naiwa. Everyone keeps saying that. Naiwa. People have been spamming Naiwa in my chat, on my YouTube comment section. And then I'm like, what are you guys trying to tell me? And then I remember that formula. N percentage I equals W. Naiwa. N-I-W. Coincidence? I think I'm just turning into schizo motherfucker now. <laughs> Wisdom. N percent. Oh. More N percent again. N percent of the power necessary to achieve godhood. So N percent... W I equals I is like the path to godhood, but I thought it was for demon lord. Anyways, this is a path to godhood. Enables access to level one information, blah, blah, blah. A dish, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I see something with the ruler? Skills gained as ruler of wisdom, height of occultism and celestial power. More other shit. Height of occultism provides assistance to magic control as it exists within the system in addition to maximizing output value. There's so much words! Celestial power, MP, basically we just all get stronger. More stats, better control, better everything. This is the most important thing though, wisdom. M percent of the power necessary to achieve godhood. What happens when we achieve godhood? Hmm? Yeah, there probably is more OP nonsense, man. Runic deployment speed, runic formula stability. It's like a new runic series power level. They're all backed up. Oh. All right, time to explain the show. Right, this is our new thing, the search function, right, that the admin granted us. Kuroko Sensei, is that a reference of Japanese things I don't know? If I look up any system related terms that give me a description, it, oh, okay, but is, do you have Google? Okay, it's Google, guys. It. So it's just ChatGPT, we can just search up anything, anything, and it'll just give us an explanation. Okay. Okay. Few steps to magic. Thanks to Miss Wisdom, our new skill, I've got magic power perception taken care of. First step. You didn't explain perception, but okay, fuck it. Magic power operation is the next one. I guess perception is basically understanding the skill, being able to be aware of what it does. That search functionality explaining us in detail basically is perception. And the operation, you're supposed to visualize magic power as a viscous fluid. And then this is just explanation of how practically magic would then be applied after the perception. Okay. Right, height of occultism basically makes us use magic more fluidly. Amazing. Transcribing runes? A rune is a pipe. Yeah. Okay, then you smoke it. What? 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 what, 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 what a, 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 a rune is a pipe. You put thingy in pipe and magic. Don't worry, but who cares? All right, sure. Three stages. Perception operation. Thank you. I did not really understand that, but it's completely fine. What? 
Hellgate? Abyss magic, we're actually using it? Can we use Manifest Hades now or what? Hellgate, Abyss magic. Damn, so the skills that we have are too powerful. We're not even there yet to be even to be able to use it, huh? Damn. Like, it wouldn't be fair if we're granted all these OP powers and be able to, like, summon Hades and all the other shit like that, right? So, telling us that, hey, you do have these skills, you're just not good enough to use it yet. Maybe with more practice, or what? What are we missing? Just experience? Yeah, basically the gear stat's too high for us. I would love to see the Abyss Magics actually in action, though. Look at the fight over the wizard hat. This is all happening in her brain, by the way, because the extra spider doesn't exist, right? She's just going full schizo. Wait! Proficiency threshold has been reached. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait! Threshold reached? A third spider! <laughs> Did we just get parallel processing evolved? So we have three brains now? <laughs> parallel mind, another one! We got another friend! So we have the physical, we have the mind, and we have the magic portion, okay? We got another friend, man. I do really want to see this abyss magic and play, man. Am I super strong or what? I think that she is. And remember, this is the past. Like, our friends, our so-called classmates, they are reincarnated and they're fucking babies right now in their cribs doing nothing but shitting and fucking puking. But Wakaba has already kind of like reached to this date. I wonder what's gonna happen. Like, when we finally get caught up in the present timeline with the other classmates, right? I, will that ever happen? Who knows? Maybe the entire story is just gonna delay that shit and the actual end game is when the timelines, like, come, like uh, what's it called? Finally come together. But Wakaba, her rate of progression is much faster than the other humans too. And the fact that she has such an early start, right? Like, what? Wait, the ground's shaking. This is a while late. Uh, we already know this one. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, it must be a small spider type that meets the minimum stats. Threshold must have the assassin. We needed the assassin's title. Small spider monster considered to be the harbinger of misfortune. Here, here we get it. Harbinger of misfortune? What the fuck? What does that mean? Why are we so, like, evil sounding? Uh, the next layer? Is this the next, uh, region that's gonna be more dangerous? Yeah? Ooh. Careful, careful, careful. New region. Beyond the middle stratum. Yeah, that's a huge gaping hole, all right. What's down there? Well, there were mama spiders that we haven't seen mama spider in a long time, right? Hmm? What? More magma monsters. Oh, that's a magma earth dragon, or what is that? Fire raking. Okay, not an earth dragon. Fire dragon. I just called it earth dragon because every dragon we've seen so far was like a different variant of earth dragon. But damn, look at these fucking stats, dude. Look at all these different skills. Dragon champion. Titles monster slayer, monster slaughterer, commander dragon champion. So many stats. It's already been fighting something though, huh? It's kind of weakened though. Could she kill this dragon right now because it's weakened? Yeah, he is kind of cracked in the skills and stats, but maybe? He's got status condition resistance. So all our poison stuff doesn't even work on it, huh? Really? You're gonna fight it? Yo, abyss magic! Abyss magic! Yo, the spider's going in! Oh, Jesus. Warfare, mental warfare, and war power activate. What? That scene was so cool. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. All evil eyes open. Holy shit. All evil eyes are open. Come on, Abyss Magic. Show me it. This multiple poison? I don't know what that is. Yo. He grazed us there. You see that? Look at this. Is it graze? 
Boom. Barely touched us. Look at the HP drop. This is like you get hit once and you fucking die this moment, dude. We do have perseverance, though. <laughs> Barely keeping up, dude. Damn, look at the dragon. It's got like the, the rib cages are showing. I wonder what it fought, right? What did it fight to turn out like this, right? Where's Mama, Mama Spider at? I don't know. I just want to see Mama Spider again. But like what fought this fire dragon? Yeah, maybe we could win this. Maybe. It's fine. It doesn't matter if it's one hit. Just don't get hit. Just dodge. Easy. No abyss magic? Nothing? That was a crazy tumble scene. Nice. Wait, what, what, what? Somehow that worked Poison Shield. Honestly, the animation right now isn't even bad. Like, there's some CGI moments, but it's pretty fluid, man. How the fuck is she dodging me? Oh, the spider web, maybe. We got eight! Oh, no! But what if we go in and then we do something? All part of the plan? That's right. That mouth is open. Dump a load in there. Wait, this is a new one. This is the biggest poison we've ever done before. And with the additional runes of the pipe basically makes it bigger. Oh, and we're leveling up. Yo, look at the way they're even showing us like the, the shading of this one. Who is this dude? Come on, that's our new friend. They're like, shut the fuck up. We'll talk to you later. That kind of looks like the actual Wakaba, you know, back on Earth. You know what I mean? With the glasses, maybe a little bit of book form. Interesting, though. This is like a big like wisdom mind. I don't know. It's, it's a super smart. What, researcher? What is that? Our poison's gone. That fuck. Wait, that's not supposed to happen. We're supposed to win there. It's too fucking strong, man. Smart dragon. Maybe we need the fourth one to come back. Come on. Fourth parallel mind. Come on. God damn it. Post credit scene. Okay, go to the sky then. Use your web to get out of there. Oh, he's so smart. He was getting rid of our footholds. Uh-oh. And we're dead. We're, we're, oh, oh, back to the humans. Okay, never mind. It's dead. But like, we don't know. Here's the thing. We don't know because this is the future, right? We know that Wakaba's alive in our past timeline with the spider time. But like, here's the thing. Wakaba could be dead in the future. Is the sensei lying? I don't know, but this is a possibility. It's not 100% guaranteed. You know what I mean? But he's super shocked at that. And that's the episode. And again, like what Okachan said here, it's either a lie, it's true, or she's actually not that. Because like you never know what this show because it's a different timelines who knows maybe Wakaba did die like five years ago doing some other crazy shit I don't fucking know because they're they're in a different timeline but that's the episode man today's episode was very interesting because we got to see actual flashback from the human side the actual human names and it looks like Hugo was never really that much of a douchebag. And you saw the red hair girl, which is a Kanata or something. He actually likes dudes. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm, what I'm trying to get at is like everybody's characteristic here seems to somehow match what their reincarnated version is. It's like a little bit more exaggerated. So it might be not too far off that Wakaba, someone as like, you know, dark and gloomy like her would be someone as like a spider in this labyrinth. And even this girl, right? Spooky. Like... Isn't it feasible that maybe this person got spawned to the demon side? I don't know. I'm just trying to make some theories, but it kind of does seem like the show is hinting that people's personalities, their true identities are more exaggerated in the... What's the word? In, in the... Uh, holy shit, I just realized something. Wait. Wakaba was also a hardcore gamer too. Is that just a coincidence? 
that Wakaba has access to the admin like that? No, Oka-chan also asked for ruler privilege. Was she talking to an admin there? Because I'm wondering if the admin system is unique to Wakaba because she was a gamer. And if my theory of people's like previous lives having more, more of an exaggerated, I don't know, custom feel to reincarnation in this world. I don't know. I'm just going fucking skits right now. Is it a coincidence? Is it not? I don't know. But the fact that I'm asking these questions while I'm watching it, this is why I'm so into the show right now. This show is such a good story. But everybody says that this show trash, CGI Spider trash, but it's like, no. I think that you are an absolute fucking baboon. You can li you literally see CGI and think it's bad without even giving the story a chance. Like, you're actually stupid if you think this story is bad. I think this show is actually fucking great compared to the other isekais that we've seen recently. This one stands above all else, in my opinion. Maybe it's just because I've already watched Slime and then I watched Skimmy Simulant Fantasy. A lot of reused themes to make me be like, oh, I've already seen this before. So maybe it's not fair. Maybe if I watch Spider and then Skimmy or Slime, maybe I'd have a different opinion to it. But right now, right now, me, I love Spider. I'm fucking all in. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.